Mel Sir Leaf, say hello to Jamel. All right, everybody, calm down. Calm down. They still fight over there in Ukraine? Are they still doing that? That's crazy. Something like a world war coming out of nowhere to show you maybe didn't know all the things that's going on in the world. Maybe, like my friend called me, he was like, hey man, they fighting in Ukraine. I said, what? He said, yeah. I was like, damn. And that was it, that was the whole conversation. That was, we didn't help nobody, I didn't raise money yet, and I, didn't, I didn't even post about it on social media, to be honest. It's terrible, it's terrible. I'm living in New York, right? It's great, distracting city, uh, some wild stuff. I took the train the other day, uh, cause I'm on X Games mode, apparently now. It's dangerous stuff. Um, I was waiting for the, the A train, Express. It's packed, except for one cart, completely empty. Now, if you live in New York, you know there's something wrong with that cart right there. Don't, don't get on that cart. I walked on it, I, I'm not even joking. There is shit everywhere, <laughs> front to back, cover to cover. It was the most impressive thing I'd ever seen in my life. Bro, you know how determined you gotta be to take a shit in public transportation? and then look around and be like, you know what? This job's not finished. This job, there's still so much more to do. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Here's another, another New York observation. Uh, you can tell how good or bad someone's day is going based on how close to the platform edge they stand when they wait for their train. You ever see somebody stand like halfway through the yellow? They don't care about anything in there. They don't give a shit. He's not going back to FedEx, that's for sure. <laughs> that boy's about to jump. New York is crazy. I go around a lot though, see a lot of different people. One thing I've realized is uh, white people want to say the N-word really, really, really bad. Like really, like with every core and fiber in their being, they would love to say, I get it, it's a dope word. I say it all the time. Nigga, 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 do it all the time. It's great. It's really cool. Um, but black people obviously, that's their word. We don't want y'all to say that, don't say it. Uh, I do think, however, there are certain situations where like, it's not a big deal. It's not gonna kill me. I'll give you an example. Uh, also in the subway, because that's where all the crazy <laughs> shit in the world happens. And with my white friend Tom, no relation, and this homeless guy <laughs> runs up on us. He's like, hey man, give me a dollar, nigger. I was like, whoa, first of all, manners, inside voices, you don't need to, it's not, you gotta, you gotta be nicer, that's not how you get what you want. You, gotta, you can't start with a hate crime, we're starting right here. It's real bad. It didn't bother me though, I just walked away. But my wife, Tom was super offended. Tom was like, dude, what the fuck? You just gonna let him talk to us like that? I'm like, us. <laughs> I appreciate it, but uh, I think this is between mano y mano. I was like, Tom, he's homeless. What could be more nigga than that? He's not gonna make me feel bad. This guy shits in public. I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing all right. Say it's because because um, rap music, because rap music, they said N-word everywhere, so now everybody wants to say it. Um, which I think makes a lot of sense, actually. I actually might stop listening to rap music altogether. I can't relate to anything that they've been talking about lately. I don't know if you heard. It's all about money and cars and all this shit I don't have, so. <laughs> Drake had this one line. He was like, um, I just seen my ex-girl standing with my next girl, standing with the girl that I'm fucking right now. Mm, dope line. I personally don't have any experiences <laughs> that equate to that at all. <laughs> What would my line be? I just seen my mama standing next to my auntie, standing next to my niece, because it's her birthday, and she wanted to come out with us. How much are tickets for little kids? Are they better? Are they better for little kids? It's terrible. I'm dating in New York. I'm on every app, every single one. <laughs> just gotta spread it out, you know, see what it is. Like, fuck it. Just shotgun shot. I'm trying to get anything at this point. It's real hard, because this is like this is New York City, baby. You can do anything you want, any kind of day. So everyone's super flaky. It's flaky as fuck. I can hear every excuse in the book. Oh, Jamal, I, I totally forgot. It's my uncle's hysterectomy. I can't make it. I, uh, oh, Jesus, I, I totally forgot to remember Thursday is my grandpa's baptism. I don't know. <laughs> Jamal, you're not going to believe this. Someone just shit all over the train. <laughs> I had this one girl, um, I really wanted to go on this date, so I, I texted her ahead of time, it was like an hour before. I was like, hey, 
I'm gonna see you later. Would you face this one? Mm -hmm. It's like six emojis. It's the thirstiest shit in the world. <laughs> Nothing more dehumanizing for a man when you have to send like eight heart emojis. You're like, God damn it, I'm so lonely. All right. <laughs> She just responded, I have liver failure. <laughs> I was like, kind of wish you just lied on that one. I didn't really want to know that. All right, everybody, Jamal Sawyer, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much.